Welcome to DIY Airplane Part 7. Today we flew this thing. Uh, but before, before we go any further, guys, I really have to say I'm kind of sorry about what I did the other day with the live stream and all that. And also to say I'm sorry to the professional aviation community because I think I did break one regulation, which is the, um, I didn't have a strobe light and I flew 30 minutes past sunset, which uh, I just was not aware of. So at the time I, was, I thought I was okay, but I guess I really wasn't. So that was stupid. We'll never do that again. Please let me keep my pilot's license. Uh, or I think I have to apologize to a few more people. Oh, I'm yeah. I really should not have done it. We should really should have called it off that one day. For all those you have know about, uh, for all of you that are paying attention, that was from the live stream. I put the, pri the live stream on private because there's really nothing worth seeing in there anymore. So that's gone. But this thing did fly. Am I seeing anything else, Sam? Backing up here. Um, Call me out. Can't remember. But the, uh, what really happened was uh, I was really just supposed to do hops that day because it was getting like real close to sundown. I didn't really go any further. But I accidentally kind of went a little too high. I was like, I ran out of runway. Oh boy, I got to turn around. So I just started to do 180 and come back to the runway. And right then and there, my battery started to get kind of low. And I put it on the field and we just kind of had a little bumpy landing, but that was it. So fast forward to today. What I found out about that was uh, what I kind of felt was going on. The plane was actually incredibly nose heavy. Like uh, after reviewing the GoPro footage here. <laughs> You can kind of see that I'm really holding a really nose high attitude to get the, the plane to, uh, to keep the plane level and developing lift. Because I was pulling back and back and back on the sticks, and the plane started to take off. And I was like, well, let me hold it back here. If it's stalling, it's going to drop and go back down the runway. But what it did was it just kept climbing. So I was like, okay, that's uh, this is uh, feeling like a nose heavy airplane. So today we fixed that, and now I have actually enough power to fly this thing, no problem. I use full power to take off. I'm actually doing this thing, this little dance with the differential throttle here, because um, it's kind of fun, because this is like a complex type of airplane, like it's a twin. So I'm just like doing this little dance and doing the rudder pedal dance, because uh, for tail draggers, you got to keep punching and tapping the rudder. I don't, you got to keep the thing on the center line, because if you like it too far, it does this thing called ground looping, which just moves out of control. People are, they told me enough about that, and I learned that through my model airplane days, so basically just do it on full scale size, and it works just fine. But as soon as the plane gets right out of ground effect, I can pull right off the power and, and fly it around maybe 75 to 60% throttle. And it's uh, maintaining level at least at, uh, what is that, 10, 20 feet, about the high as I went? Yeah, no. Okay, well yeah, we didn't go around the pattern today because I wanted to respect my friend's wishes because uh, this is still an early airplane. I should do a few more of these hots before I really get ahead of myself. And that was something that kind of happened during the live stream, which is, uh, I kind of got a little ahead of myself. It's kind of like uh, my newness, or what do you call it? What do, you, what do you call that? Newness? Idiocracy? It's something like that. Ambitiousness? I don't know. Y young and stupid I would probably be what, what a lot of old people are probably saying. But, you know, yeah, they're kind of right. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it as far as the sneak peek goes. We're going to do a little more evaluation. I'm going to calm down because uh, I really do just want to firewall the throttle and just fly out of here. But, you know, I really should do my proper safety checks before we do anything stupid like that. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the actual part. Eight or whatever this is just part seven super quick sneak peek enjoy the takeoff footage and montage and stuff and uh we're done
Sam, you ready? Yep, you're missing some logos. Yeah, we'll have to redo that, whatever. Here we go. I don't know how long it was before Peter was taking off, but hopefully he'll fly over my GoPro. Here he comes! <laughs> oh. You guys could experience this. This is literally like insane. It flies, it totally flies, and it flies really well. Like Aeron's super responsive. Elevator does elevator things and the rudder. Yeah, it's tail dragger, you really gotta do this thing a lot. I don't I never really actually took a tail dragger training, but there's this thing called like punching the rudder, which is like you just gotta keep that center line, which is I'm just doing this thing back and forward, just trying to hold center. And that's it, and it's also twin, so I'm also doing it with differential throttle in my hands. So it's a little bit of a handful for a new pilot. And yeah, this is awesome. I can't wait for a good day to go flying. So I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. <laughs>